Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to talk about how you can animate the transparency of your material so you can easily see through the model and see your reference image clearly. Alright, so as you can see here I have my scene set up where I only have three keyframes and as I click through the timeline it animates the transparency of the material that I have assigned to my model. Alright, so it's actually pretty simple to do. So we'll go over here to 2017 and start with this cube. All right, so the first thing I have to do is I need to limit the number of keyframes I have in the timeline. So I'm just going to change both of these numbers here to three. All right, so I'm going to apply a Lambert material to my model. I'm going to call it animated material. All right, so all we're doing is we're setting keyframes for the transparency. All right, so we're going to right click on the word transparency. Make sure that uh, you start off with your uh, the marker and the on keyframe one. Right click, so go to set key. So now we have our first keyframe set. So now I'm going to move the move uh, to keyframe two. Move the transparency slider to about halfway. Right click, and go to set key, and so now I have the first two keyframes set. All right, so this is actually very, very simple, but it's very, very helpful. So I'm going to go to the third keyframe. I'm going to lower the transparency down to maybe around about 10%, 15 or so. Right click, go to set key. And now I can easily see through down through, the, through my model by just clicking through the timeline. All right, so sometimes people will assign a material, let's assign a material and they'll just constantly just change the slider for transparency. And as you can see, you can do that, but it's, it's going to be a little time consuming. There's also your x-ray icon here, or x-ray option. But what that does is it gives everything kind of like a global transparency. And that doesn't really help too much. So I can just go back to my existing materials, animated material one. And like I said before, I can just click through the timeline and easily see through my model down to the reference image.